Afternoon guys, Dave Canterbury with Pathfinder School. You know, I've been kind of doing a little series on bushcraft as of lately, and I've knocked a few videos out that we're going to put on DVD at the uh, Pathfinder School, but really no series on bushcraft would be complete if you didn't do some kind of carving, carving a spoon, something like that. So I have this tool that I got from Bobby Moody 1, or Moody Bobby 1, excuse me, called the Flex Cut Carving Tool. I'm going to show you a close-up of this tool. We've talked about it in another video, but I never really got it out and used it. I'm going to use it today to carve myself a spoon. So stay with me, guys. All right, so I've got my Blind Horse TLC knife here. Same one I've been using lately in a few videos for carving and things like that. Pretty good, sharp knife, all around good bushcraft style knife. Works really well. Now, I thought for carving today, I'd go ahead and get this carving jack out that I got from Moody Bobby One. And it has a lot of tools on it that makes it very convenient. You can just carry it in your pocket. It has locking devices on it. And again, it's made by a company called Flexicut. And I was gonna go through the tools with you and kind of show you what it had on it. They're kind of a pain to get out. It's got a small scoop type carving tool on it right here. It has a larger gouge type device here that's curved. And then it has on that same side, a deeper carving knife on there for hollowing out bowls and spoons and things like that really well so we'll get those put away and it like i said the tools do lock in place and that's a good thing then on the other side of this tool you have another three tools and again kind of a pain to get out of here you've got a straight gouge just a flat straight gouge you have a knife just a straight knife that's made for you know pulling off lots of wood and then you have an angled gouge here that's kind of a 90 degree gouge so you have a lot of pretty good carving tools on here all in one little pocket knife type tool that you can put in your pocket flex cuts a pretty good company uh, you can find these on amazon for less than or right out 100 bucks i think they come in left and right handed so be careful with that but it's a good solid metal tool I don't think you're going to break it very easily, and it's done me well so far. I've had it for a few months. I've had it since my birthday, last September actually, and it's done me very well up to then. I haven't done a video on it yet, so I thought after having it for almost a year, it's about time to throw a video out on it. Stay with me, guys. i got a piece of sassafras here. We'll see if we can't make ourselves a little bush spoon here. Okay, guys, I really don't have a specific plan for this at all. I just kind of cut this piece of sassafras and thought I would whittle it into something, a spoon of sorts. This is the fatter end of it, so I think I'm going to start with this end, and I'm just going to kind of remove the bark off of it first. And sassafras is a pretty soft wood. Might even make a good bow drill fire. I've never tried it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just debark it and see what I've actually got left for thickness down here for the bowl. And it's fairly thick. Then I'm going to try to kind of debark back further where I'm going to carve it off into a spoon I might leave a little bit of that stuff on there just for aesthetic value because it's probably going to come off in the carving process I got a knot right there I've got to deal with but that just gives it character I don't want to get too carried away on this front end until I get my bowl cut in because I can cut this back off later as long as I want it and it might have a little curve to it or something and that's okay too not that big a deal if it does to me right now I'm just going to kind of cut it long and skinny get past all the knots give me something to hang on to here there we go now if I cut into it a little bit in here it'll give me something to hold on to out here for carving as well and I can cut that off later that was kind of one of the tricks that I learned from Sean Mulhall when he was over here from the UK at the gathering was to carve a kind of a front end on this thing to hold on to while you're carving and then make your spoon bowl in here somewhere and I imagine I'll go behind this knot to make that spoon bowl but we're just kind of gonna see where it takes us not sure how it's gonna turn out yet so we'll carve our bowl right in here see what happens so let's start with that and kind of figure out where it's going to take us like i said there's a really nice 
spoon carving type tool on here and you can see that just you can get right down in there and dish that wood out with and it works really really good for that um, I can just push it and dish it right out pretty easy I'm gonna have to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing here guys otherwise I'm gonna take chunks I don't want to take out of this thing probably let's kind of get that right first see what we got going on here let's kind of get our spot in here we want our bowl to be for our spoon a little tougher in there in the heartwood than I thought it was going to be I kind of thought that was going to be pretty soft in there but it don't seem to be which is okay just means I got to work a little harder at it So let's kind of stay back from that knot just a little bit with our bowl. We'll kind of try to make our bowl right here. kind of figuring out where I want to stop with the front edge of this and I'm kind of carving that off to kind of get a better profile of what I'm looking at here and you can see that it's starting to take shape now more into spoon fashion take some off of here Take some more off of here.
Clear blue water Take me home Soggy bottom by you boy Play me a song Clear blue water Take me home Bring back them good old days I used to know Must have been something in the water In that old sawmill creek Baptized in the holler I got down on my knees Old man whiskey Told me a story them good old days and all of his glory bound by the bottom he gave up everything hit rock bottom heard them angels sing clear blue water take me home Soggy bottom by you boys, play me the song. Clear blue water, take me home. Bring back them good old days I used to know. Old man whiskey sure had a hold. Take me home Okay guys, I don't think that's too bad of a little bush spoon for probably 20 minutes it took me to do that My camera shut off, I turned it back on but I'm assuming it was probably around the 20 minute mark something like that to get that done That's not uh, too shabby could drill a hole right there if we wanted to to hang it off our stuff. Take some sandpaper to it and make it really nice and shiny and fancy. Put some fixing wax on here to seal it. Nice, heavy, robust spoon. Not too bad for a quickie. All right, guys. Well, I'm Dave Cabra at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me out for another video. Just a little quick spoon carving. No bushcraft series would be complete without at least one carving video. I appreciate everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, for my sponsors, affiliates, friends, and instructors. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.